a ping pong paddle so you have to swing it. <laughs> it's a ping pong paddle. <laughs> Do you like your new toy? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, Caden and I are at Five and Below. We are gonna be doing a little shopping today. I need to find an outdoor rug. I need to get a few gifts for some family members' birthdays that are happening and, um, I wanted to come to Five and Below because I keep hearing that they have like really good stuff, but it's a pretty good distance drive and I knew that it would take up most of our time today that we have. So we decided to come here first and we're going to go check out and see what they got. So I figured I'd bring you guys along. Alright, so first off, we ended up coming to Ross first because when I walked up to the door at Five and Below, it was closed and I hate that feeling. <laughs> I feel like everyone inside like watches you walk up and like pull the door handle and it doesn't open. But anyway, um, they didn't open till 10, so I decided to go ahead and come to Ross since they were already open and we'll go as soon as they open. I just said open way too many times. Let's get her these. Let's get these. There's three. There's one for each of them. Oh, yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. She'll like that. <laughs> what? Yeah, there is. There's one, and then here's the rope toy. Oh. And then there's three. Mommy, one for each of them. Uh oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Are you alright? Oh, okay. Well, how did you knock it down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. Oops. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Hold on. Stay put. Stay put. Okay. Here, we're gonna go this way real quick. We are. We're gonna go over there and look for shoes in just a second. Okay. Trying to find Aunt Michaela something unique. Oh, don't pull that off there. Okay. She likes coffee mugs. Let's find her a cute coffee mug. No, I love the pink one. You like the pink one? Yeah. Wanna get that one for her? Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll get her this pink mug. I think she'd like something like that. Yeah, she. Hold on, let's put that one back. Let's see if we can find. I do like this one. Ooh, she'd like this one. Yeah. That one's 14. How about let's get some. This one's pretty cool. How much is that one? There's no price. It's a ping pong paddle, so you have to swing it. <laughs> it's a ping pong paddle? Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, let's keep looking. It's pretty neat. I've never seen anything like that. Look at that. That's wow. pretty cool. No, look at this. I see. That's for a bathroom, though. Oh, look, there's more cutting boards. Let's look. Oh, I love this kind. It's a what? It's a paddle. <laughs> it's a paddle. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're so funny. Oh, I like this. Whoa. I like this one. You like that one better? Yeah. I want one for like the fruit on the counter would be cool. Yeah. These are pretty neat. One for honey, one for little, and one for Yeah, let's go. These are pretty for spring. Oh, they're on sale. Five dollars. Well, you get these. It smells like what? It 
Uh oh, are you okay? Yeah. I can't see. I that. Oh, I like these shelves. Whoa. Check these out. $16.99. That's actually not bad at all. $9.99. That's actually really cheap. $10. Hmm. Huh. Easy, easy, baby. That one's 34, that's pretty. That's pretty cool, it looks so real. Ten LED solar lights. 12 foot. How many of these are there? There's those. Okay, they're solar. And it says it's six foot. For $9.99. So five and below is finally open. We're gonna go and see what we can find. We went to Ross and got the kids some new clothes for the spring, summertime, just to kind of get started, just a few outfits each. And I got my sister-in-law two little gifts. I'm gonna try to find her a few more things here. Unfortunately, at the Five and Below that I went to, the music was so loud that I I literally could not film it all in there and talk to you guys because of, number one, copyright issues, but also you could not hear me. Um, just listening back to these video clips was hard, like rough on my ears. It was that loud. <laughs> so I um, just filmed a quick little overview of a few things that we looked at. They have a ton of electronics, um, toys for kids, home decor clothing, sunglasses, you name it, it is in this store. Like, it is crazy how they have so much inventory and they keep it so clean. This store is immaculate. Every time I go in there, they do such an amazing job at keeping up and at least in our area. So this is like the third time I think I've been to this store and not once have I went in there and didn't enjoy it. So definitely check them out. Um, but yeah, as soon as we leave here, we're going to go home and I'm going to show you guys what we got. go for a little bit more of a warm tone not so much yellow orangey looking but um, this was ten dollars and I couldn't rebuild this for ten dollars even if I tried like it's such amazing quality you can just see how well it's built and put together so this was a great find um, and I will be using that above my desk I believe in my master bedroom or I will use it in my son's room for like some of his books or something like that either way I will find a spot for it and if it doesn't match with like the room, I can always paint it. Just a quick coat of black paint or even a white would look really nice too. So I got that. I also got each of us a pair of shoes, except for my husband. I hardly ever buy him stuff. Y'all have probably noticed if I ever do a haul, it I usually, oops, I usually don't buy him things because he's so picky. He just likes to get his own stuff. So we'll usually make like a trip and he'll get new shoes, new clothes while we're there because he likes to like feel it and look at it. If I buy something, I feel like it's just gonna end up getting wasted or I'll have to return it. So I let him do his thing, but I did get me and the kids some sandals for the spring and summer. Um, these are the ones I went for this year. Um, I got a few other pairs the other day when I went to the store with my mom 
and they're really cute but they're not the most comfortable sandals like when I tried them on in the store they felt okay but these are so comfortable they're my go-to like staple I had a pair very similar to these last year that had like little metal spikes and these are actually like studded instead and I love that these are squared off at the front very pretty and they were uh, $25.99 and they're the Nine West brand I also got Maya these pair of sandals just a little rainbow it'll go with any style that she wears these were $13.99 and Caden got some tennis shoes. He has sandals still from last year that he didn't wear and he just does not like them. He is very picky when it comes to shoes. So we tried these on in the store and hopefully he will wear them. Um, I'm not gonna take the tags off just yet until he actually puts them on and walks around the house for a minute because the last pair of shoes I bought him, he I thought he would really like them, but he just does not like the way they feel. So. Unfortunately, he's already like wore them outside and stuff, so I couldn't return them, but anyway, got those. Um, from five and below, I grabbed this weighted jump rope. I thought this would be perfect for like workouts. I keep seeing this uh, like workout challenge go around like where the people are using the jump rope as like their workout basically, and they're like transforming their body. We'll see, and this one's weighted, which is pretty neat. So I got that for five bucks. Also from five and below, Got a storage container set because I don't know like where they go. I guess they grow legs and won't run away because I cannot tell you how many times I've bought containers and we literally have none. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. So got a new pack of those. The dishwasher safe, which I love that. Freezer safe and microwave safe as well. So that's amazing. Um, for five bucks, you get a 42 piece set. So definitely check out five and below if you have one. They have some really good deals. Um, next up, from Ross, I found these 100 LED solar powered lights. These will be going on my back porch, of course, and I was excited to find these. They're 55 feet in length, and it was $9.99 at Walmart. This would have been like 20 some dollars. So I got two boxes of these so I can have like little twinkling lights outside on the back patio, and they're, they're solar powered which is great. I won't even have to think about it. Next up, at Ross, we got a little coffee cup. This is for my sister-in-law for her birthday. Um, I also got her a little suede journal. This was from Five and Below, and so was this. This was five bucks, and then these were a dollar. Um, they're just little fashion pins, I guess. Super cute, though, and I got that for her, which I don't know if she really takes notes or anything, but I feel like it's always nice to give someone like a new journal or like a notebook, notepad. There's always things that women need, so <laughs> grab that for her. And I got her a new cutting board. I don't know if she has one like this. I don't remember seeing one at her house, but these are great not only to use for like cooking, but also as decor. And she's been kind of, you know, decorating a little bit more. So I thought this was nice and it was $11.99. What else did I get? Over here, I got all the kids' clothes laid out, so I'll show you what I got them. So starting here, I got my niece this cute little dress with this little jean jacket. I thought that was so adorable, and this was $12.99. I got Maya a new pair of shorts. I love these because you can actually roll this part down. Unfortunately, all of the little girls' clothes are so short nowadays, and even a lot of the um, their like t-shirts are cropped. So anytime I find a pair of jeans or shorts that I can like cut the little seam and roll down, I love those. And these were $8.99. This shirt was $5.99. This little blouse, oops, I have it the wrong way. I thought it was so pretty and super silky. It was $6.99. Like how cute is that with the little ties on the side? And then this tank was uh, $5.99 as well. It says Faith, Hope, and Love. That's the back, actually. And then this is the front. It has like a little heart and a cute little tie here. So adorable. So that was a few things that I got for Maya for this um, springtime. Then for Caden, he got this pack of shirts, which was $5.99, and it came with two. Like, how awesome is that? We got him a Nike shirt. This was $7.99. 
Adidas. This was $6.99. And this little snack attack, he picked this one out, <laughs> was $4.99. Oh, and he picked the dinosaur one. He was like, oh, this is so cool. And I, he was like, what does it say? I said, it says cool on it. It was super cute. Um, but for $5.99 for two shirts, and they feel like awesome quality. So that was a great deal. Um, and that's what I got for the kids. Do you like your new toy? You need your nails clipped. Are you gonna let me cut these today? Huh? Do you like your little giraffe? Stop it, you're so cute. Hey y'all, so it has been a few days since I vlogged. I planned on vlogging all weekend, but it just didn't work out. Honestly, it was just crazy busy. It was so many people around. And I don't ever like want to make anyone uncomfortable. Like, plus I don't like to make myself uncomfortable either. I'm still like super shy, believe it or not. Um, I'm just not a fan of filming in front of people. I like to hide out in my house. <laughs> um, but anyway, I got a grocery haul in and I haven't shared a grocery haul in a while. And I actually have been getting requests for them again. So I thought I would share today. I also put together a meal plan. I shared one on Instagram last week or two weeks ago. Last week? Was it last week? It might have been last week. I don't know. My days are all mush like right now. I feel like I we've just been so busy I can't keep track of time. But I've been putting together a meal plan like really professionally on Canva. I use this app called Canva. It's really easy to use. And I made like a little meal plan. I'll leave it right here on the screen. So I wanted to share with you the food that I got. Um, it was a lot because I was completely out of snacks, breakfast foods, everything. We needed a reorder of everything. So we got quite a bit to show you, but let's go ahead and get into that haul. Hold on, should I turn the lights on? I guess y'all can see okay. That's probably a little better. Um, okay, so here's the majority of the groceries here. And then I have toilet paper, paper towels. We were almost out of toilet paper. I was cutting it close. <laughs> but I got some of that. I got strawberries some Caesar salad kits. You know what's crazy, y'all? My son is so picky, but let me tell you something. You put him a salad in a bowl, he will tear it up. It makes no sense. So I got that for Caden. I got some pasta roni side dishes. These are so good. We got Parmesan cheese, angel hair pasta, um, an 18 count of eggs, Got tomato and basil spaghetti sauce and some thin spaghetti, and I accidentally ordered the two-pound package, so we won't need spaghetti for a while. So I got that. We got the dog some treats back here, the Milo's um, Kitchen. This is from, who, what's her name? What's her name? Rachel Ray. Is that Rachel Ray? Is it? Why is her name not on it? I'm pretty sure that's not Rachel Ray. Is it? It is. No, it's not. Who is that? <laughs> Doesn't it look like her though? I don't know. Okay, that's gonna like make me angry. I'm gonna have to Google that. <laughs> anyway, I got some Trick cereal, Fruit Loops, Cheerios, and then we got all the like unhealthy snacks over here that everyone loves. Fudge rounds, honey buns, the little bites, little muffins, cherry mix fruit, nacho cheese Doritos, um, some Simply Smart organic chicken breast, Nuggets, I'm reading. <laughs> Every now and then I'll do that. I'll just like start reading the whole label. Next thing you know, I'll be like way down here and like, it's chicken nuggets. <laughs> but I got those. Um, the kids really like the dinosaur shaped kind. I don't know why. I don't think they taste any different, but they swear that these are better than the other ones. So I got them those. I also got some sweet cream butter, some Swiss cheese, American cheese. I got some beef and bean burritos here for lunches. A bunch of lemons, I love to make lemon water. Um, one onion, because I'm the only one in the house that eats onions. We got fine green beans, some milk, some bleach, which probably should not be mixed in with the food. But that is something I have noticed about Walmart recently. They just do not care. I swear, they will put like bleach with bread. They, they just don't care. Like I literally just pulled this, um, whatever this is, this Arm & Hammer fresheners for the laundry. That was in with my dog's treats. I was like, what in the world? But anyway, I got that. I got two different kinds of coffee creamer. I like this one, the Natural Bliss. Dylan just likes the great value, so I got one of each. We got sour cream, Taco Bell sauce, orange juice, bananas, of course. Um, what are these called? Bagels, cream cheese, apples. And, oh, we got a big pack of Band-Aids because 
somehow we have no band-aids in our house at all so i got these and it looks like someone stole one out of it <laughs> it's fine um i also got a big loaf of bread some hamburger style buns i think we're gonna have hamburgers tonight for dinner i got some nasty grapes you can see how just ugh, i'm gonna tell them that i don't want those because they are just like so gross why even give them to me like it just it blows my mind sometimes but Overall, I love the service that Walmart provides, so I'm not going to complain too much, but when it comes to produce, I always kick myself in the butt for ordering from them because it always doesn't look good. The strawberries look good, so that's a plus, but these do not. They never look good. Um, anyway, that's enough about the grapes. I got some Uncrustables, homestyle waffles. Y'all know that they do not sell my favorite kind of waffles anymore. If y'all remember, I used to do grocery hauls all the time, and I would constantly talk about the um, whole wheat brand of the Eggo, Eggo whole wheat waffles. Anyway, they are the best, and they don't sell them at our Walmart anymore, so that's a bummer because they are, the, seriously, they're better than those, and I can't find them anywhere. But anyway, moving on, I got some Arm & Hammer OxyClean Fresh Scent Laundry Soap. This is my favorite, um, and I also got the clean and simple uh, Arm & Hammer like scents for in the wash. You got, I was about to let you smell it. <laughs> it's so good. It smells so, so good. So I wish you could smell through the, through the camera, but you can't, but it's definitely trying. The blue one's good too. Okay. In case you were wondering where all the proteins are, they're over here. Um, we have some steaks back here. This was a little bit of a splurge. Um, so was the salmon, but this will make two dinners. So we'll just cut this in half and it'll be enough for Dylan and I. And that will make, like I said, two dinners there for us, or we'll have the other half for lunch. Um, we got Black Forest ham, roast beef. Those will be for the au jus sandwiches. The pork chops, two pounds of ground beef, and I got two packs of bacon. I want to do like BLTs one night for dinner, and then the other one we'll probably do like breakfast for dinner. So I like to have like bacon or sausage. And for some reason this week, I was just kind of craving bacon, so... I got the bacon. And I also got some summer sausage for lunches for the kids. <laughs> She's concerned. You okay? okay guys. <laughs> morning I am about to do a little bit of self-care and I thought that I would share a little bit of it um, I've shared me dyeing my hair before in the past so I'm not going to show the whole process but I do use this Revlon um, dark brown hair color so I'm going to use that today I'm also going to do my makeup and just kind of get myself put together just feel like I really need it and I wanted to share this just as encouragement if you're kind of feeling the same way to set aside a little bit of time for yourself today or tomorrow this weekend and um, do something that makes you feel good whether it's getting your nails done or your hair um, if you can get a facial or like a massage do something nice for yourself because you deserve it being a mom is tough and a lot of times we or mom wife spouse you know what I'm saying um, it's just it's hard life you know can get kind of chaotic and stressful sometimes and we have to remember to take care of ourselves so this is your reminder to do a little self-care Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready all right so i did a little bit of self-care and i feel a lot better um there's just something about making it a point to take care of yourself that really makes a huge difference and it just like boosted my confidence level a little bit so i feel good um i'm gonna do a quick tidy up on the house though because my husband will be home for lunch any minute and it's not the house isn't bad but i've been trying to like keep up with it like every I don't know, a couple hours, I'll do like a quick tidy up clean. It takes about five to 10 minutes. We put everything back where it belongs. That way the house stays decent. So I'm not spending hours and hours cleaning the house and it's been amazing. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I 
plants right here on my window seal um, just so they can get some sun today the sun comes down um, at the end of the day on the side of the house and it'll shine through so they'll get some good rays and I'm gonna go ahead and water all of them too on the top too no here like on the top into the plant yep do you buddy here kind of put some over there on that other side Mama, on the, on the, on the, okay <laughs> all right so the couch gets pretty dirty from the dogs and the kids but I wanted to show you guys it like wipes clean with just water and like a towel so it comes right off oh, I love it I am obsessed Stop, it's beautiful. Thank you. So 
we have to go get my daughter from school. Um, I always love this time of the day. Like, I can't wait to pick her up every day. So, we're gonna. You were sitting in there for hours. You miss her. Mommy does too. Um, but we're gonna go get her really quick and then. By the way, have a sleepover. You're gonna have a sleepover? Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna go get her really quick and then whenever we get back, I'm gonna go ahead and marinate the pork chops for this evening for dinner. So, that'll be good. Okay, I'm about to marinate the pork chops. This is what we're making for dinner tonight. It was 9.31 and they're the bone in. They're actually kind of thick too. So these are going to be super good. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, open. Alright, so I'm going to marinate these using some soy sauce, some garlic and lemon and herb seasoning also this roasted garlic and herb seasoning so i'm just going to kind of mix it all together i wanted to do the soy sauce because it kind of helps um tenderize it a little bit so i'm just going to add just a little bit of that just kind of spreading the seasoning out all over them um, and then I'm gonna wrap them with some saran wrap they're still kind of frozen so hopefully they'll unthaw a little bit more before dinner time it's only 3 30 right now so we got a little bit of time but oh I hate plastic wrap <laughs> so this is like so that can just like soak in to the pork chops. My pork chops are thawed out and marinated, so we're going to take those outside and go ahead and put those on the grill. Are you saying that you squeeze lemon in there? Okay. I can't believe they helped. I did plant one over there. Because that didn't die yesterday. Isn't that long? Isn't it just like that? Yeah, where is it? It's so long that it's <laughs> Okay. 
Those look good, don't they? <laughs> you see her licking her lips. Honey's licking her lips. That looks good.